Now we are going to see problems on large sample test, testing of hypothesis for difference between two proportions. We are going to deal with one tail test. Previously, we are seeing two tail test problem. Let us see how to classify the problem as one tail test or two tail test. Okay, I said as like your Google, you should be do the machine learning. Scan it one by one and understand the data clearly. Write every data in a preferable, elegant way. Then problem is. So now there is a machine. It is producing 500 samples. So n is 500. Very good. It's going to be large sample. Out of 500, 16 are imperfect. So there is 16 imperfect. So obviously it is going to be proportion. Okay, good. Now to check whether it is single proportion or difference of proportion. So what they are saying, so 16 is imperfect. So they are dealing with defective data. Mm, okay, good. After the machine is overhauled. Okay, now they are overhauling the machine or they are removing repairing the machine so why they repairing the machine to improve the performance of the machine obviously so here people will speak in two perspectives so once you are repairing or overhauling the machine two things can happen what is it performance may be increased or defect may be decreased So either I can see there is an increase in performance or a decrease in defect. So if you are going to deal with performance, for example, if they are asking about performance, I say H0 and H1 have the same performance before and sorry, in P1 and P2 have the same performance. That is my H0. When you go for H1, so I'm dealing with performance guys. So I have to say the performance P2 like after repairing is better than before. But people when they speak about defect, we can say P1 and P2 are working same as usual H1. But H1 will say the defect before you overall is more than the defect you after you overall. So this is dealing with defects so you have to choose according to your problem let us see what the problem is given now we have to choose either this or this let us see guys so n1 stands for 500 samples proportion is 16 out of 500 is wrong after overhauling or after repairing, what would happen? Now N2, P2, we have to deal. After repairing, I am getting 3 imper imperfect articles out of 100. So N2 is 100, P2 is 3 by 100. So now you see, my P1 and P2 are speaking of what? Defects. They are not speaking about improvements. So when you say defect, obviously you say H0 is P1 equal to P2. Just now I was explaining you when I say defect, P1 defect should be more than P2 because you have overall. That's what they are asking. Test at 5% level, the machine has improved its performance. So performance is improving. But P1 and P2, they are not giving the performance. They are giving you the defect. That is very clever question. So, you have to take performance in the sense defect. Here, P1 is the proportion of defect before overhauling. P2 is the proportion of defect after overhauling. So, P2 defect should be less than P1. So that's what N1 
M2, P1, P2 we have calculated. Now my H0 is P1 equal to P2. H1 is P1 greater than P2 reason. Defect in P1 is more than the defect in P2 defect proportion. We are not dealing with performance. Even though the question is asked for performance, but the data is given for defect. So I have to write like this. So alpha is 5%. So once alpha is 5%, Z alpha is what? 1. Very wrong. You should not write 1.96, right? Why? Because it is one tail test. So we should be careful. So for one tail test, Z alpha is 1.645. So now we know P1, P2, N1, N2, capital P I don't know, I said the formula already, use this formula, substitute the value, problem is nothing else. The so important thing is we have to fix whether it is one tail or two tail by reading the question again and again and carefully, that's it. So after this fully computation, find capital P, find capital Q. Substitute the values in Z and always take mod Z value is going to be 0 0.1037. My Z alpha value is going to be 1.645. So it is obvious my calculated value is lesser. I am in safer side. H not except Then guys. So that means what we can say, the performance of the machine before overall or after overriding are same. That is very important. You have to mention the conclusion and wordings at the end of your problem. Now let us go into the second problem. So there is an engineering guy. He is adopt a proven method. Okay. So he is adopting a proven method. In the proven method, let us see what he is doing. He found success 12 out of 30. Okay, so N1 is 30. So 12 out of 30 times he is getting success. So he tries a novel technique. So why he tries a novel technique? You can understand. Maybe the proven method is not better. Because you see 12 out of 30 success. The guy need more success. So we are also like coming to class, learning, joining in a college or university, reading some courses to get success, to get degree, to go to the next level. So maybe this guy proven technique is not working. So this guy want to do some other technique. What is given to us? The second one, novel technique. He is using novel. So in the novel techniques, let us see how we succeed. So out of 40 times, he succeed like 23 times. So now you can ask what they are going to check whether the novel technique is effective. See here, in the previous problem they are dealing with defect. In this problem they are dealing with performance. So they are asking novel technique is effective. That means novel technique is better. So my H0, I say no, no. Both techniques are same. H1 says, P1 represents the proportion for proven technique. P2 represents the performance for novel technique. So we have to check the novel technique is effective or not. Effective in the sense novel technique is better than proven technique. So it is going to be one tail test pass. Hope you understand. See? So, yeah. null hypothesis P1, P2. Alternate hypothesis. P1 less than P2 because novel technique I have to prove it is better than the proven technique. So substitute alpha value, sorry, substitute P1, P2, N1, N2, capital P obviously is not given. So using N1, P1, N2, you see here also, yes, this is P2 guys, sorry. So using N1, P1, N2, P2, Substitute and find capital P value. Here after nothing guys. This is the same story. Substitute the value. Find mod Z. 
So alpha value at 1% sorry 5% level is going to be 1.645 since it is one tail test. Comparing these two, I can say mod z is less than z alpha. So accept h now. That's it, guys. So question data are very important. That is n1 p1, n2 p2. Whether it is two tail or one tail, alpha which person you choose. That's it. So let us see another question. This is little tricky question, guys. Mm, we should be very careful with this question. Okay, in a town of okay, in town A, nine fifty six birth, which fifty two point five persons was male. Okay, so N one is going to be nine fifty six. Proportion of male children is fifty two point five percent. That is zero point five two five. While in town and town A and B are combined, they are combining town A and B. So my N one plus N two is going to be one four zero six. So you should be very careful. Here they are dealing with what? N one and N two together. The proportion total. Of one thousand four hundred and six births. Okay, so uh, let us see one thousand four hundred six, and then nine fifty six is for n one. So my n two is going to be four fifty. So n two is four fifty. N one is nine fifty six, and p one is given zero point five two. Five. Now we are going to find P two and capital P. Problem is over. Now the problem is the whole proportion they are giving birth as zero point four nine six. So that means capital P is given the whole city like for A and B together. The birth proportion was given as zero point four nine six. So you should not think all the time they will give what always capital P. You have to find sometimes P one P two also they can tell you to find. Okay, let us see the question. Now in the question they say is there any significant difference between proportion of male? Okay, is there any significant difference? If you see the word. My H naught is going to be P one P two. There is no difference. H one, I say there is a difference. This is one tail test. Sorry, this is two tail test. So the problem is little different. That's why I took this problem here. So now you see, you have all the data. So in this problem, capital P is given zero point four nine six. P one is given. N one is given. N two is given. We have to find P two. So just keep P two from the equation. Then substitute the remaining values. Find P two. Once you find P two, then you can go for Z is equal to P one minus P two formula. Substitute it. Then you can see Z value is three point one, and then Z alpha value is one point nine six. So I can say mod Z is greater than Z alpha value mod Z is greater than Z alpha value, so I can reject the H naught. 